Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from Silhouette Sisters, and I'm here today to walk you through how to import a GSD file from My Vinyl Designer into your Silhouette Studio software. Once you start getting comfortable with your Silhouette Studio software, the next step many take is to branch out from the Silhouette Online Store and start buying and importing files from online. But I bet you're wondering, what is a GSD file? GSD stands for Generic Station Description. And it's another way to format vector images. It was developed by GraphTech for their craft cutting machines, and GraphTech is the parent company of Silhouette. It's important to note that the Silhouette software recognizes this file format as ready to cut, which means there's no playing with the cut line settings. Once you import, you are ready to cut. So now you are ready to tackle a GSD file. A great source for GSDs is myvinyldesigner.com. I would like to make a vinyl decal to decorate my cameo. So I've selected this flag with star and I'm going to add it to my cart. My Vinyl Designer makes all of their files available in four different formats. So I'm going to quickly walk you through the checkout process. After entering your payment information, you're going to come to the confirm and purchase page. Here is where you're going to select GSD as your download type. After you select continue, you will come to the order receipt page. This page will contain the link you need to download your new file in the GSD format. Now My Vinyl Designer takes all of your purchases and compresses them into a single zipped folder for easier downloading. Once you click the download button, the folder will be saved to the downloads folder on your computer. A window will pop up confirming that you're going to download something from My Vinyl Designer. After you select OK, a window will pop up from your computer giving you an opportunity to rename the file if you wish. I've gone ahead and renamed mine Flag with Star, and then hit Save. Then your Downloads window will appear showing the zip file that has just been downloaded. In most cases, you should automatically be able to find that zipped file right on your desktop. Then you are going to open or unzip the file by clicking on it, and continue clicking until you get to the GSD file. You want to take that file and drag it onto your desktop. And once it's on your desktop, you'll have the opportunity to rename it if you wish. Okay, so you've purchased your first GSD file from My Vinyl Designer. Let me show you how to import it into Silhouette Studio software so you can begin making some great projects with it. You're going to go up to the Open Folder icon and then search for the file on your desktop. I renamed mine Flag with Star. And I'm going to hit Open. And it's added to your page. Now your Silhouette software recognizes GSD files as ready to cut, and you can verify this by going up to the cut style window, which is the little scissors up here. You click on those, it opens the cut style window, and you see that the flag and the star and the lines are all highlighted in red. That means that the Silhouette software is recognizing those as the cut lines, and you can go ahead and send it right to your machine. But before I send it to my machine, let me show you how I am going to prepare it for cutting. As I said, I wanted to make a vinyl decal for my Cameo machine and I want to make it colorful. So I'm going to break this image apart so I can have some layers. I'm going to select the star and move it over to the side. I'm going to cut that white. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with white just so I can remember. Select it, go to fill color, it's going to be white. Now, I think I'm going to make the top layer of my flag red, and then I'm going to make a second layer underneath it for white to give me the red and white striped look. If I color this all in in red, it's all red, but I want to be able to see through these individual stripes. In order to do that, I need to make the flag and the stripes a compound path. So I'm going to go over to my Modify window and hit Make Compound Path. And that is the look I'm going for. So when it cuts the vinyl, these little pieces will be the negative part and I will weed those out. But I need to layer this on some white so I can get the red, white, and blue effect. Go to Trace, select Trace Area. It's going to be this. And I just want to trace the outer edge. Move that over to the side. And there we go. And that's going to be my white layer. Color that in white. Actually, I'm going to color it in gray just so we can see the white on top of the white. So when I cut that as a white piece of vinyl and then I'm going to layer on, I'm going to arrange that and bring it to the front so we can see it better. Then I will layer a red piece on and then I will have 
Ooh, arrange that one too. So I'm going to move my star over to the side. And I'm going to work with this area here. I just want to trace this area so I can layer on a little bit of blue vinyl. I'm going to go over to trace, select trace area, and I'm just going to do this part here. And that looks good. I'm going to turn off my high pass filter and hope I can get just a square all filled in. And I did. So I'm going to go ahead and hit trace. And there's a little square I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my square with some blue. And I'm going to layer this up to make sure it's going to give me the finished product I want. Actually, I'm going to take these two and go to my align and just have them center on each other and put my blue there. Arrange that to, so it comes to the front. And there we go. So I have my four layers. And I'm going to go ahead, cut out with vinyl, arrange them together and then I have a great vinyl decal to decorate my cameo with. This is Jennifer from Silhouette Sisters, and on behalf of my vinyl designer and myself, thank you for watching.